according to the graph above, if 80% of the people who were under 18 years old and living in the United States in 1970 are still living in the United States in 2020, the number of these people will be approximately what fraction of the number of people 50 years old or older living in the United States in 2020. So what is this? This looks like an integrated reasoning question. Uh, so we got this uh, bar graph here and it says it's the number of people living in the United States in the indicated years who are either under 18 years old, so that's the lighter graphs, or 40 years or older, which are the darker ones. And it says figures for the years 2000 to 2020 are projections. So, well, Jesus Christ, this question itself is over 20 years old. Uh, okay, so this is a glimpse of what the GMAT used to be like, and you can compare it to the questions from today, I guess. Uh, so what is this saying? So 80% of the people who are under 18 years old and living in the United States in 1970 are still living in the United States uh, in 2020. So they are just 50 years older. Uh, so uh, we have to estimate the number of people who are under 18 in 1970. It looks to be about 70 people, uh, or 70 million, I guess, technically, but we can just say 70. Uh, and so if 80% of those people are still in the US in 2020, how many people is that? Uh, 17 divided by five is 14. 14 times four is 56. So 56 million people are still living in the US. Uh, these people will be approximately what fraction of the number of people 50 years or older living in the United States in 2020. So we want uh, the under 18 year olds from 1970 still in the US. Over. Uh, the 50 people 50 years or older from 2020. So what is that? Uh, so that looks to be about 120 million. So uh, we get 56 over 120. Uh, let's simplify. So we got what? Uh, Divide by two, twenty-eight over sixty. Divide by uh, divide by four. Uh, that gives me seven over fifteen. Is that a choice? Looks like it is. E.